were talking in the commercial break, I'd go with a yacht. Michaela would do a lot of traveling. Yes. What would you do? I think I'm on the travel. I would yes. just uh, buy my own plane and uh, just go around the world. I think that's a good solution. Uh, what we're watching in the First Alert Weather Center, we are looking at a weekend that's going to be hot with afternoon storms and cooler temperatures will come our way by August, which is crazy to believe that next week is August already. Satellite and radar is fairly active. A lot of the storms are starting to die down. Still have some uh, rain in Pueblo County and then some storms moving just to the north of Lyman. And then up near Sterling, we have some storms as well. A lot of lightning up there and some small to moderate hail. As we zoom on in here closer to the front range again, we had a bigger storm near Boulder, but now we have some rain uh, moving into parts of Weld County. Nothing uh, too crazy out there. We had some heavier rain out near DIA earlier this afternoon. That really knocked down temperatures. Future cast for tonight. Again, these will clear out. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine, and then we're going to do it all over again tomorrow. Chance for afternoon thunderstorms to fire up. There could be pockets of heavy rain out there, even near here in the Denver area, and then they'll make their way out to the eastern plains as we head into the evening hours. So there will be the chance tomorrow of more severe weather. Denver is uh, in that once again. That goes up towards Fort Collins as well, all of Weld County, and then out towards Sterling as well. So hail and wind and really heavy rain will be our biggest threats from those storms. Our drought monitor was updated, and it's oh, not great on the west. We are back to abnormally dry conditions. The San Luis Valley has moderate drought once again. So monsoon season is usually really good for the western side of the state. So let's hope that proves true again this year and they start to get more wet weather out that direction. 76 in Denver right now. Again, that rain moving through earlier today really knocked things down, but we did still get to 94 today. 60 in Boulder. Again, heavy rain cooled things off. 80s, 90s out east. 60s to the 90s in the high country. It's 90 in Avon right now. 89 in Steamboat. 102 in Grand Junction and 94 tomorrow in Denver. So more of the same. 92 in Boulder and Fort Collins. Upper 80s and upper 90s out east. Lots of 80s in the high country. 90s to the triple digits off to the west and across the front range 94 in Hudson 95 in Brighton 94 in Aurora and then we have 92 in Golden and as we head into Arapahoe, Arapahoe County 94 in Sheridan Inglewood and Cherry Hills Village 94 in Littleton and 93 in Centennial and for Foxfield 94 in Aurora and taking a look at our frontier days forecast if you're heading up there tomorrow it's going to be a big night Cody Meyer or Cody Johnson and Whiskey Myers play it's a sold out show gates open at 10 30 78 degrees 82 for frontier nights and just like the last couple nights, there will be the chances for thunderstorms out there. Just like us here and across the Front Range in Denver, uh, we are looking at temperatures in the 90s for the next several days. It may be, by, it may be by Wednesday of next week, we start to cool off a little bit and see chances of rain every day through at least next week. And as Lauren just mentioned, there's still time to get out and enjoy Cheyenne Frontier Days tomorrow.